Hello guys, I'm doing lately some renovation and I bought this Wagner paint spray pistol and it's a 630 watt power and comes with as well additional part here but the problem is the motor so I was painting and and then one day some paint actually got in here you can see a little bit here and I was thinking okay but uh, we'll see how it's going now and we still have some issues and I kept working everything was fine next day I was using this as well because it's impossible to clean inside here because it's impossible to clean inside here so I was doing a lot of work and then I just uh, decided to change a little bit of this uh, settings of the spray paint this other part and then, and then yeah it kind of just stopped to work so I was wondering what's going on and sh long story short I was a little bit shaking 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 and it started to work and then some sparks started a little show up here and I felt that it has some issues with power so I decided to open this up and see what's going inside but so I couldn't find many videos internet how to do this and this is about how to open this one and let's try and hope to fix it I will not show you how the sparks go because I hope that I still can clean this one and it will work fine because water was motor was still working and more or less what you will need well the one thing is that uh, some bolts are really deep here in so you will not be able to just get into with the Allegro drum this uh, instrument and there's some issue as well other it needs like torque 15 for all these bolts I and this is for torque 10 but they come inside with a little this hole so you need to get torque 15 what as you see inside little holes so this bolts not like just regular bolts but with this one so let's open this up as you can take away the filter and this might be dirty you see some paint just there so it's okay be ready for that and then, then as well you can remove this top part not very hard to do it just pop this one from one side to the other side easier to do it if you get some sort of like for example other tool I bought this little tool set because I needed like to get deeper inside here not possible regular thing so just little put your screw die here pop it one side and you see, pop it other side, and that's about. Then just pull it upwards, and there's like inside like little hole so that it goes up. As you see, really easy. You need to do it because there's one bolt as well. So don't try to break it if you don't have remove this one and this bolt. So let's start with this small little bolt here. Torque 10. This is the most easiest bolt here. Put them aside, and then. Torque 15 with the hole in the middle. Then you can just open this up, shouldn't be too hard. As you see, kind of open up, try not to lose the bolts. Put, put all in the same place okay and here you can see inside there is the motor regulator on top and then there's like power on and off switch and you can just take this out from here so it doesn't bother you anymore and then there is like the four same torque 15 bolts but this time this might be a little bit harder like uh, put in place so better get some little bit which is like uh, with good quality and try to open this one I never opened this so it's and we'll see how what's inside here I take some force <laughs> looks like the screw is the same size but I will just put it anyway in different place so my hopes are that the paint is just touching the brushes or the engine, the motor, let's say, not engine, <laughs> inside and then, then it kind of has some issues with connection so that's why there is like this sparks going in so let's try to remove this one I'm not sure 
how it is connected or not. So we'll see. We'll be need to open this. You see there are inside like little connectors here and there. I'll just press this one more inside so I can a little bit get this out and then disconnect these cables. And you can see the paint got inside in there. Probably not you can see that well. Looks like it has some movement here, so probably this cover is removable. So probably harder to see, but there's a little pin here. I think you just have to press it and then it will pop down. White cable. Yep. And the same with the black cable. Sorry for the issue, sorry I, I forgot to turn on the external mic, but more or less for this one to remove this little bit pop this one under here like so. So to remove this one, just pop this one, the little bolt under here, lift it up and pull it upwards and here press inside a little this pin and then pull it upwards. And then finally the part is disconnected. And uh, I think I figured out that I will need to remove this top anyway, so I already started doing. Not the nicest way as you see, but this is the option. Because the one brush is here, but the other is the other side and I cannot reach it. And I think you see that this paint went that side, which I cannot reach. So definitely have to open and see what's going on there before I can move on. And then, then why I figured out that uh, I should do this, I was Googling. So there was one page, I googled it, something about similar this paint spray gone, and then I kinda check out and seems like same problem and the person actually has opened this up and then and there's some written that uh, later on they have actually like fixed this by doing it and cleaning these brushes so it kinda inspired me that probably the paint is somewhere there so let's try and open this so if you do this by yourself, it's your own responsibility, of course, you break it down, but if it's already not working, so not much you can do, maybe ordering this one new, but maybe not be so easy, so I just spray this one a little bit and moving a little bit towards like that, hoping to just uh, manage at one point it just pops down. So apparently it doesn't take too much force because right after I finished this, I kind of like just pushed one more time and this popped down and then hope I didn't break any of these teeth because didn't expect this one, but this kind of goes really easily away from here. Probably, I'm not sure if it should be like that or not. Hope I didn't break it. And anyway, at least now you can see what's inside in here. Quite a lot of paint already falling out on my trousers. What can I say? The thing what I probably see first, there are little two of these little metal pieces here. And then just open this up. And then I think you will be able to remove the core, so I will just straighten this out and let's see what happened then. Okay, I straightened them. It's actually really easy, so just put here, probably, and just pull up that way, opposite side. Remember how it looked, interestingly. Kind of doesn't sit like in this hole, but next to it. So let's open this up and see. Oh, it comes really easily out. Okay, nice. And as you see, this is full with paint, this is less full with paint and seems like it's clearable here and what's inside here, some paint there, I will just scrape this off and we'll see if it works or no after that, I will not show you but more or less be aware if you're scraping off these ones you can actually damage this so I'm not sure if it's worth it, so start with the problem area, in my case was like in here so I will try to figure out how to fix this one. So probably this is not the best strategy, but I figured out how to help you some guide to get this faster moving. So man, not easy, but this is not moving. You still see and locked in so I will take this one and you see this is for a uh, like spring but you can do it like that and then try to 
load this one I should kind of hit this and try to break the loose so I think this might work Maybe not the best method but I don't get how to get in here and how to remove this one so I can try this one try to move this we'll see if it works for me for after like a couple of times I'm not super sure if I did it correct or no but I kind of got this out and then probably get back in like this one just press it just press it but put it and slide it down and put it in there are little little knob as you see here kind of holds in place so but for me I had to do this one because this is not moving at all so now I'll be able to push this one out and see what's locking this in place it's good that you can remove this one like that <laughs> very nice so we'll clean this one better but definitely this is faulty because it does not move at all it should move really freely then just press this one in pull this out and clean around here and inside as well so it moves freely just finally clean this one now this one moves as well nice as you can see let's remove this pin put it inside here somewhere and a little bit move it as you see now it moves really nicely and it should, should up and down, in and down and to remove this one just pull it toward you and then just lift it up as it's already lifting up I don't know when you want to move it but kind of easy and then just clean this one and put back on spring here so it's in place nice and then this the main thing is clean now just I will clean a little bit body but overall I think this was the cause why it's not working properly let's hope it works and I'm not damaged it even more and I will just put together and this dropped out when I was a little bit cleaning but I see that no point of cleaning more here or there nothing touching and as well these are a little bit sanded tops and this fell out this got luckily for me I had a photo before so with this wire ring it's down and this is like goes upwards in here like that as you see it dropped in rapidly put everything together just see if there's still some sparking going through and not correct problems with engine I still need to flatten this because it doesn't fit very nicely there in but I just need to see engine works or if it's shortening or something going crazy oh that was very nice sound and I didn't hear any of those crazy sparks didn't see as well let's put it in like so it's stable there and we can actually do some more of this test so far so nice let's put some more put maximum here let's do the same again and a twist again and maybe you can see inside there's sparks going like nah at least it can works a lot better than that so if you have some problems with this paint gun Wagner brand it is possible to fix this engine so if somebody says well it's not possible you're lucky enough that it's just uh, like these brushes which is sticking for me for example then it's okay so probably don't bother with all the wirings with paint with inside there because it's the worst thing that happen it can burn but otherwise it will be there forever and will not bother you probably only the moving parts for those just check and clean as for me as you've seen so it's possible to fix this and well, we'll put everything together and give you a test when it's everything done and ready but as you see I clean it a little bit I didn't do the best job as you see but it works no very goodly so after everything is put together let's test out if it works kind of works now it's still regular Whew. 
it was lucky call this was <laughs> because it's rather new use it just a couple of times not a couple of times but anyway just for few rooms so good to see that it's working and then one more thing is good that you can replace those brushes here it's not like for uh, all the equipment and to honest to be totally honest as you see i did it for first time never opened such an engine before maybe just for little toy cars so this motor you can open it by yourself as well it's not like compressed just for one time use so thanks for watching and goodbye